Welcome, welcome, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is our first video. We got a lot of love on Facebook from a candy cart prop created from foam board. And so here we are with all the deets on how to make it. Guys, please excuse any insufficient lighting. We are new tubers and not yet pros. So if you're ready, here goes our step one. All right guys, so let's hop into our step one of making the wheel. We're going to need foam boards, and you can get those at any Dollar Tree store. This is a white material below. You need glue sticks, you need your ruler. You're also going to need your foam board cutter, which is very hot, guys, so please be careful with this. You're going to need your high temperature glue gun. You're also going to need a pencil and our trusty nail board. And now we're ready to begin our step one of creating the wheel. All right guys, so this is our wheel and um, we're going to show you how to make it. It's pretty easy. Um, so uh, each uh, spokes, I believe they're called, I'm not sure, uh, is about eight inches each. And so what I'm going to do is make one of them so you can see. And then all you have to do is assemble them. So it's eight pieces in all. And I'll show you guys exactly how uh, it's done. And after you make one piece, I will show you how to you just wrap it in paper or any kind of color, whatever color you desire, uh, just to cover the edges of the foam because when you cut it, sometimes it has a jagged edge. And so we just want to make sure everything is neat and well put together strips that are ready to go and I already made another one so that you guys can see exactly what it looks like and how we're going to assemble it together. So they're eight inches in length and one inch in width. And now we're going to glue them together to show you the assembly. Okay guys, by this time I've figured out that uh, this process is extremely lengthy and so I had to speed up our video so that we can get more work done in a short amount of time and the video might not be so long. Uh, we might have to do this video in two parts, but I'm trying my best to get all the information out there to you guys so that you can create your own prop. So now we're waiting for the glue to dry and it takes a bit of seconds if you work with hot glue or uh, any hot instrument, you know, you have to be careful if you have kids at home, you don't burn yourself or harm your children. All right, so now we are going to show you how to uh, rip the paper off of the foam board and you're going to use that to cover the jagged edges of the pre-cut piece that we have below. You can get foam board from anywhere and make sure that when you're wrapping it, wrap it like a Christmas present. So it'll be beautiful and ready to go. Here we are with the center of the wheel and our trusty nail board. We are going to file it down and make sure that it's a nice round circle. In doing so, we're going to add the spokes that we made earlier with some glue to the center of the wheel while we're pinching the edges to make sure that all eight pieces fit securely and properly. Now I'm going to show you one that's already completed and I'm going to show you how I pinch the edges to ensure that all eight pieces fit together. Now that we've completed this section, we're going to complete the wheel by adding a strip that is 58 inches in length and about one and a half to two inches in width. Glue the pieces to the strip and complete step one. Okay guys, so we have already created our wheel and so now we're moving on to part two of completing our, our cart. So we're going to uh, measure the area in which we are going to cut out so the wheel can be placed on the cart. Now this is one side of the cart, just one side. And for one side of the cart, you're going to need two foam boards, two, because we want to make sure that it's sturdy. And we're going to glue those together right after we cut out the area in which the wheel should go. 
So you're going to place the wheel on top of both foam boards. You're going to use your pencil and draw around the area, which I have already completed. And then you're going to cut the area out. And when you cut it out, it should look something like this. And if it looks something like this, then the wheel will fit perfectly inside. And so, now we're going to cut out the other foam board and then we're going to glue the two pieces together. That will create one side of our cart. So now that we have both foam board areas cut out, we just place the wheel right there to see if it fits, and it fits perfectly. So then we can already see our cart coming together. Now this is one side of um, our cart, and we can do that again for the other side of our cart, we're going to get two more foam boards. We're going to cut them, measure and cut. And then that will create another side. So each side, each long side of the cart has two foam boards with the cutout for the wheel. Okay? And now we're going to move on to the short side of the cart. Okay, guys, so this is a short side of the cart and as we said before this is the longer side of the cart so the longer sides are going to have the cutouts and the shorter sides will not and so we have to uh, measure and make make some precise measurements so the width of the short side is as you can see I'm measuring the width is 13 and a half inches Again the width of the short side of the cart is 13 and a half inches right and then the length Right is going to be so we Mark off our 12 here, and then we move our ruler down and it's going to be 16 and a quarter or 16 and one fourth. So 16 and a quarter or 16 and one fourth for those who know it differently for the length. And this is a short side of the cart. So as we did with the long side, you're going to need two pieces of foam board glued together. And that's for the strength. It gives it more strength so it'll be more sturdy and take a little bit of weight because it can take a bit of weight, but just not an immense amount. So you're going to glue two pieces together, right? And then you will have completed one of the short sides. Now for the other short side, you're going to take the same amount of measurements and you're going to do the same thing and you're going to glue, measure and glue them together. So all together, we should have four pieces. We have completed four sides and that's two long sides. One, two, and then we have two short sides. One, two. And so what we're going to do is get into the details of what is going to happen with the short sides. Okay, so we're going to continue to detail our candy cart. And in doing so, we have a short side here. Now for the short side, we have to add two pieces that will hold up the post. Now this is a post right here. We're going to discuss this a little bit later and I'll tell you exactly what to do when we have to create the post. So we're going to add this, which is three inches on each side, to our short side of the candy cart. So we're going to grab our glue gun. We're going to add a little glue to one side. And then we're going to attach it. After you've completed gluing the pieces together, it should look something like this. And so this is the area in which the post will sit on. 
in our candy card. Really quickly, I wanted to show you guys something. Please make sure that when you're adding these little pieces, they come directly to the end of the board as this side has to attach to the longer side of our candy card. So please make sure that the little squares come all the way to the end as you're gluing them together. Okay guys, so your two short sides should look like this. With the small squares attached. Please pay no attention to the darker side here. This was the foam board that I had when I started making it. And so I just used what I had in storage. So what we're going to do is we're going to add all our pieces together. And we're going to show you how we're going to do that. Okay, now that we've cut out all the needed pieces, we're going to attach our short piece, our short side, to the long side of our cart. And you're just gonna do that by adding glue to one end and ensure that it meets the very top of the cart. You're gonna need to use a generous amount of glue as you're gonna need this to be very sturdy. And then you're gonna have to hold it there for a few minutes so that it dries and it stays standing without you having to hold it. Okay guys, now as you can see, already standing on its own. And also please pay attention to the fact that this small square is securely attached to the long side of the cart. So you need the small square to be attached to both sides of your cart. So now we're going to continue and add the other short side of our cart directly to the top and we're going to glue that together. So let's take our glue gun and we're going to add glue to a generous amount again to the side here. And then we're going to add this side, just like we did before, to our long side of the cart. And we're going to hold it there for a few minutes until it's able to stand on its own. Right, so now that this side is dry, we have to add the other side to the cart. So as you can see, our short sides are attached, one and two. And so what we're gonna do is add the top of our cart. Hopefully you guys can see that. We are adding the top of the cart. And what we're gonna do is ensure that we glue this together, okay? So you might need some help, someone holding one end as you're holding the other, and just make sure you apply a generous amount of glue and hold for a few seconds or minutes so that it is stable and standing on its own. So as you can see, guys, we have created the body of the cart. I hope you guys can see it. Turn this the other way so you can see that as well. So it has been created, guys. And now we're going to put some legs on her. 
or him, whatever you prefer. We're gonna add the legs and I'm going to show you guys how to make those. All right, so here we are at the legs and all together we have three legs, two of the same height and another which is a bit taller. Uh, we already have our strips pre-cut and ready to go. And uh, each strip measures 11 and a half inches in length and two and a half inches in width. And so what we're gonna do now is glue them together. Glue gun. All right, so we have one side glued on. And now we're gonna get to the other side. We're gonna glue that on. Our gun. And we are using a lot of glue, so I hope you guys have glue handy and ready to go. We're gonna stick that on there. Now that both sides are dry and it's pretty sturdy, we're going to add a little bit of comfort and security to the back of our leg here. And in doing so, it'll make the leg a bit more sturdy when it has to stand for a while. Add some glue. And we're just gonna stick that to the back here. I hope this helped you guys in seeing how the leg was created. See our sturdy piece here that keeps the leg pretty sturdy. And we have our three sides. You can also cover the entire back as well. Or you can put pieces on the inside, cut double pieces on the inside that makes it even stronger. All right, and that's how we create our leg. And so now we're going to show you the measurement of the third leg that's here. And it's, pretty, it's longer than the others. And that's because it gives a bit more support where the wheel is. Okay guys, really quickly, I just wanted you guys to know that you should always file the edges. Continue to file the edges and make sure that you do so until it's very smooth, nice and smooth. And you can rub your fingers along the edges and feel the smoothness. And then you'll see that it looks really well uh, and it doesn't look too jagged so you'll be fine. And remember that this is the part that's going to be glued to the uh, cart. Right, so that all your, your guests will see are the three sides, which is this side, this side, and this side, right? Okay, so now we're going to show you how to attach the legs to the cart. Okay guys, now we're gonna put the legs on the cart. So I wanted to show you where the longer leg goes, and I'll put that on first. The, the longer legs go right next to the cutout of the wheel, so it goes here right in that corner where you see there's less foam board it goes right there that's why it has to be a bit longer right so you'll you'll glue it here and then you'll put the other leg after you've glued that there you'll put the other leg here and you make sure that they they are measured up properly all right Make sure that they measure up properly before gluing. All right? Make sure they measure up properly so you can use your ruler. And if you see that there's an issue, you adjust accordingly. All right? So just make sure that they measure up. All right? So you take your time. All right? And then after that, you'll be able to put your wheel on top. So let's get the wheel here. And the wheel will go up here. That's where the wheel will go. All right. And then right next to the wheel, you will add your other leg. All right. Adding the legs. Right? So, you wheel up top. 
your longer leg right below the wheel and your two short legs on the other sides. One up top, one down below. All right? I hope you guys can see it. So one more time again, longer leg on the side here, right below the wheel, which is up here, right? And then your two short legs will be on this side, one right next to the wheel, and one right below. So after adding the legs, this is what our cart looks like all the way around. We're going to add the top of the cart and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what the top of our cart looks like. It's one foam board and we're going to cut out at each corner. We're going to cut three inches and three inches. As you can see here, and here right so we're going to add that to the top of our cart so we cut up the three inches on each side of the foam board three inch three inch three inch three inch right? all four corners all four corners and we're going to place it on the top of the cart And here we are with our top added. As you can see, the cutouts are there. And those are for the post that's going to hold up your roof. Okay, so these are the posts that I have created. And I have created uh, two pieces that becomes one full length. And you can see a bit of the separation, but they're wrapped in paper from the foam board. And so each piece of this post is 15 and a half inches in length. Right? 15 and a half inches in length. And in width, they are two and a half inches. So all together with the entire length of one post is 31 inches. So you can measure 31 inches in length and two and a half inches in width. And you have to create all four sides. This is an old one. And so, when I created the post for the front, I wanted a bit of embellishment. And so I created a paper flower that is in between the post. And so also you have to measure and cut. If you want to do this style, you would have to cut out a piece of this in order to insert the flower in the middle, as you can see. And you have to wrap it all the way around so it can be completely neat and put together. And so you're going to need two of these and two of these if you decide to do the floral in the middle. If not, you will need four pieces of this and that will be 31 inches in length and two and a half inches in width. So you will need four of these pieces for your posts to hold up your roof. Okay guys, really quickly I wanted to show you guys the two pieces that becomes one. See? Two pieces that becomes one for your entire 31 inches in length for your post. And again, it's four sides. Four sides. And so you have to glue those together like we've done before. And when you've done that, you're going to have to wrap it in paper from the foam board. Or you can choose paper that you have anywhere in your home that can cover the entire length. And we're going to glue it together. Add some glue. And 
then we're gonna wait for it to dry. After our posts are dried, we're going to insert them into the cart. All right, guys, so all four posts are in the slots that we created. All you're gonna do is just glue those in, and then we're gonna create our roof. Time to create our roof. Okay guys, so we're at the final step in creating our candy cart. This is the roof, guys. So we have three pieces in creating our roof. Two short sides, one long side. And I'm gonna give you the measurements for those so you can start cutting them out. All right guys, so the short sides measure 18 and 1 fourth in length. And in width, they measure 8 and 3 fourths in width for the slanted side or the cut side it measures four inches right so you're just gonna cut that side there four inches now we're gonna move on to the long side the long side which is the front of the of the roof measures 29 and 1 4 in length which is here our length and our width, which is the shorter side, measures 10 inches. Now we're gonna put our roof on and I'm gonna start with putting on the sides first. And as I put on each side, I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see guys, I've added the sides and uh, now we are looking at the slanted areas and they're a little bit above the post right and so again the slanted side is above the post and we're going to add the front of the roof okay so we're at the end of our project it has been completed and this is the front of the roof as you can see right there I'm going to show you how the side fits with the front right right there and we have completed our task and I want to thank you guys for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel if you have not I'm gonna show you the finished product with uh, balloons and flowers and all gussied up to go out on a date thank you guys again and I'll see you on the next one